What's good family? Today, we're diving into the ultimate playground of science and curiosity, the Exploratorium in San Francisco. Let's journey into the wonders of discovery on this episode of Maroon Eats and Travels. Exploratorium in San Francisco. I haven't been here in over a few years. I mean, I think he was a little kid. I don't think Ariana has ever been here. I don't think she has, or if she was, she was like a little baby. All right, fam. So welcome to the Exploratorium, man. So this has always been a hub of scientific wonders and hands-on discovery. It was established in 1969 and the institution has been the forefront of interactive learning, igniting curiosity in the minds of all ages, man. I still get a kick out of all the exhibits here, man. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. So as a child, I remember going to the original OG spot for the Exploratorium, which was located at the Palace of Fine Arts. I went there the first time as a fourth grader with my class on a field trip, and I fell in love with this place, man. So fam, just picture yourself in the late 1960s, a pivotal era where physicist Frank Oppenheimer envisioned a space that would revolutionize the way we engage with science. Frank, inspired by his own experiences as a teacher, dreamt of a hands-on museum where scientific concepts were not just explained, but could be experienced firsthand. So in 1969, the Exploratorium was born, setting a new standard for interactive learning. In order to truly appreciate the Exploratorium fam, you have to start with Frank's vision, a vision that aimed to break down the barriers between science and the public, making it accessible, engaging, and fun for everyone. And like I said, the OG location, the museum's initial location in the Palace of Fine Arts, signaled the beginning of a transformative era in science education. So of course, the kids love this place, man. Because learning from books and reading is definitely important, but being able to actually be hands-on, a place where you could touch, play, and learn in the most fun ways possible, is what the Exploratorium is all about, man. And if y'all didn't know, man, there are about 650 interactive exhibits. That's right, 650, man. You could spend a whole day here and discover things, something new with your kids. And actually, you could probably discover something for yourself as well, man. All right, the kids can't stop going and exploring and taking a look at all these exhibitions here. Um, a lot of things to see, of course, but it's a packed house. Of course, it's during winter break, winter break, so you get a little crazy, you know? So this one always really trips me out, man, this exhibit right here. So while you're in the shadow box, a giant phosphorescent no. screen similar to a glow-in-the-dark oh, product you. captures your shadow with the excited electrons, creating a mesmerizing visible glow. And of course, there are plenty of light and sound exhibits here, man, that you can enjoy. And of course, you can't miss this art piece right here, man. This is called the Museum of the Moon, created by Luke Jaram. And the moon is actually a one to 700,000 scale, man. Not only do the kids get a kick out of the light and sound exhibits, but of course, it's amazing to watch the various cool patterns and sounds um, that these exhibits actually 
can create, man. You know? Bro. What are you doing there? Oh my god! Hey, Amy. What happened? You're, uh. I didn't set. Not great, like monochrome. Monochrome yellow. For real, man, it's like being in a party where science is the DJ. <laughs> So according to the Exploratorium's website, the artistic inspiration for Earth's glowing satellite, aka the moon, acts as a cultural mirror, reflecting on not just the sun's light, but the stories and beliefs of people around the world, man. And that's what it represents. And there were people here from all different walks of life. And of course, this exhibit right here shows how your eyes perceives light and color, man. At this exhibit, red, blue, and green lights combine to create the sensation of white on the screen. Blocking different light produces shadows of seven colors. Blue, red, green, black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Life is definitely a colorful journey, man. So here is a lush display showcasing diverse plants and their intricate root systems. It's a journey through the heart of botany where you can marvel at the beauty and complexity of the plant kingdom. You can also discover the unique relationships between roots and soil and witness the harmony that sustains life. Foods that you can get in San Francisco. Is there clam chowder bowl, man, in the sourdough bowl? San Francisco is known for its sourdough, of course. We cut the clam chowder here. Let's see if this clam chowder is any good, man. Mm. Mm, not bad. Again, if you want to stick around here for a while, it's your only option. But it's not bad. It's not the greatest, it's not the worst. But you want to enjoy your day, man. You're not here to just eat. You're here to, you know, enjoy the exploratorium in the museum. So, <laughs> or you can be smart, plan ahead of time, and bring your own food. So you're seeing a sound wave. Let's do it. When it wasn't raining. That's it. You see that? Yeah. This exhibit talks about the science behind goldfish breeding, man, where every fin and scale tells a unique story, man. <laughs> so you can get info about the courtship rituals to the careful nurturing of the eggs and so on and so forth. Man. But a really cool exhibit here, though. man, is the experience of the Exploratorium's 20-minute geyser. Man. So, so every 20 minutes, man, this geyser erupts, man, that is not only mesmerizing to watch, but also provides a powerful lesson in geothermal wonders, man. So geysers in nature erupt due to the buildup of pressure in an underground chamber, forcing water and steam to shoot out. In case of the synthetic geyser, the specifics of mechanism would probably involve a pressurized system that regulates the release of water to simulate periodic eruptions.
just trying to keep up with my kids. So if you come here, make sure you keep out on your kids, man. But uh, a lot of great live displays, question and answer sessions for the kids, you know. So at the Exploratorium, they do a live cow eye dissection, man. From identifying the sclera to unveiling the lens and the retina, they dive into the intricate anatomy of vision. And the kids were eating it up, especially my daughter. Yo, man, so what an incredible day of discovery here at the Exploratorium. From mind-bending exhibits to hands-on experiments, we uncovered the magic of science and exploration. And as we wrap up this adventure, I want to thank you for joining me on this journey into the realms of curiosity and wonder. <laughs> and again, depending on how you want to spend your own day, man, I want to give you some suggestions on how to kind of take advantage of exploring the Exploratorium, man. So... Visitors often spend about three to four hours, man. That's about how long we spent there. Um, so you want to arrive early in the morning if you can, man, to make the most of your day. Start off with exhibits that interest you and that you want to kind of explore with you and the kids. Do the hands-on activities, man, and partake in the demonstrations, man. Usually these happen around the late morning or early afternoons. So plenty of live demos, hands-on activities, and of course, you're gonna have to plan for a lunch break, man. So while they offer food here, Food is pretty good, man. You can always bring your own food and, and grub. And of course, definitely partake in the special exhibits and workshops here as well, man. And if your kids are old enough, or if you're old enough, if you want to partake in an event, there are actually after hour and evening events that actually take place here at the Exploratorium as well, man. And if it isn't raining, you could also take advantage of the outdoor gallery and the spectacular views, man. And another suggestion is that, man, Remember to check the Exploratorium's website for the latest information on exhibits, demonstrations, and any special events that may be happening during your visit. That way you can adjust the plan based on your preferences and the current offerings of the museum. Of course, just enjoy your day, man. Experiment, explore, you know. Just walk through it, man, and just take in all the exhibits, man. There's so many things to do over here, man, with the kids, and it's definitely going to be a kick for you and the family, man, the whole family of all ages, man. As you can see by me here acting a fool. <laughs> so this display right here was created by artist Robin Baumgarten and some brainy scientists in Finland. So they use a lot of colorful lights, bouncy door stoppers, and some techie stuff like Teensy boards and a computer script. When left alone, the lights do their own thing, but when you touch the bouncy door stoppers, it creates some really cool patterns. So it's not just pretty, it's like a colorful bouncy glimpse into the fascinating world of quantum science. Crazy, right? So yeah, man, we did a lot today, man. So we witnessed everything from the eye exhibit, dived into the mysteries of goldfish breeding, marveled at the 20 minute geyser eruption, looked at the various light, color and sound displays. The Exploratorium is truly a treasure of knowledge and excitement, man. And fam, if you haven't already done so, remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and share it with your fellow science enthusiasts, travelers, explorers, all of the above. Don't forget to subscribe for more thrilling adventures and explorations. If you visited the Exploratorium or have a favorite exhibit, share your experiences in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys. So we had a good day at the Exploratorium, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, fam, thank you for spending your day with us in San Francisco visiting the Exploratorium. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Yo, again, man, if I've encouraged you to visit something new, man, I've done my job, man. That's why I'm on here, bro, to encourage, to collaborate, and to see new things, man, and to encourage other people to see new things, man, and step out of their zone. So to all the folks that are, you know, science and techies, and even if you're just a kid that just wants to explore, man, the Exploratorium is an excellent place for you to visit, man. So until next time, fam, peace.